matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Ah, uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. But what to do? That's what I'm about to Um, quick, did you hear about the Aquaman trailer leaked? I don't. I didn't hear about a leak, but I heard about it was revealed at, at CinemaCon. And it wasn't a trailer, it was just some footage. I did hear a description of the footage. I'm a little worried at how coy they're being about the movie. The fact that it doesn't have a trailer yet, it's just, uh... A little, little weird to me. <clears throat> I think the only official picture that was released was of Mera. And that happened quite a while ago. So I'm, I'm a little worried, actually. Did you hear about Henry Cavill wanting to play Superman? What? Henry Cavill wanting to play the character that he's been playing for the last four years? Five years, actually, I think. Four and a half. Yes, I meant the description. Oh, yes, then I did read that, yes. People were saying how he might not resign... Resign his contract. Um... But he debunked that. Oh, okay, good. Good, I mean, I like him as Superman, so that's good. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, no, we've, we've been here before. Jeez, this level is very confusing. Not sure what... What I'm doing. He said he wants to keep playing Superman for as long as they let him. That's smart. That's very smart. The amount of money that he's getting for playing Superman is probably pretty tremendous. So I think that's a that's a good thing that he is smart enough to say that. <clears throat> Dang it, dude. the heck? Hold on. What? It's like... How do you get up there? How do you get in there? I don't get it. There's like a little thing, and you do the thing. You know? Do you think he would still play as Superman if the money wasn't good? No. I don't. At least I have a hard time believing he would. Because if he's not getting paid well for that, <clears throat> he might be... There, there are definitely other projects that he could be getting paid better for so that it would be kind of a waste of time for him I think we waited here just oh you told us, Uncle Scrooge. well you oh, won't have to wait much longer my dear now that I've got all three parts of the magic spell I'm one step away from finding Dracula's lost coin hold on a second I thought you said there's no Scrooge McDuck is Dracula. is an extremely well, greedy it's been a rather informative day a greedy uh, ornith uh, creature. Never mind, kids. I'm going to Hold find on. a treasure. And then <laughs> let me let me try and find a better word for that. Um, a duck on Wikipedia. Okay. Don't allow. I don't want them to know that I live in the Congo. Oh, what's that? Did I say that on stream? Whoopsie. Um, duck is the common name. For a large number of species in the waterfowl family Anatidae, which also includes swans and geese. Okay, so 
He is quite the greedy waterfowl. That's that's kind of where I was going with that. But he's really interested in Superman. Did he tell you that? <laughs> By the money wasn't good. I'm saying he's getting paid less than projects that he could uh, do el at the same time. But I, I no, I just don't. I don't. I just. It, it's not. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> I, I again have a very hard time thinking that he would keep doing Superman if it wasn't being if he wasn't getting paid well. He's a big enough actor that getting paid a lot of money is kind of the standard, I think. And. If he just stopped getting paid that kind of money, he would maybe still play him. But I'm, I'm saying if the money got bad, like instead of getting paid a million to pay, play Superman, maybe he would be paid 20000 Then, like, you can't get out of bed for $20,000 when you're playing Superman. That's just, that doesn't make sense. And I'm not, <laughs> one million is not a great amount. I know. I'm just using it as a kind of a reference tool, like saying, comparison tool, saying, hey, if it were a million, and then he got paid 20000 instead, it's it's a good uh, ratio to kind of hammer the point home, I guess. That was cool. Um... He said it in the CinemaCon interview, <laughs> but he's also under contract, probably. So saying saying that he doesn't want to play Superman, saying he doesn't want to play the role that he's most well known for, it's kind of biting the hand that feeds. So I don't I don't entirely <laughs> trust that those were his sincere words. I think that it's probably just him saving face, not trying to talk down on the role that made him who he is. Uh, do you think actors only care about money? Some do, some don't. Josh Hartnett is one that does not care about money. He stopped being in real high um, production value movies. He kind of shied away from that in favor of independent filmmaking. And it's worked out really well for him. He's very happy. So there are some, yes, that do not care about money at all. But there are some that do care quite a bit about money. You read about it quite frequently, actually. I think recently there was a, a thing on Fifty Shades where they were demanding more money or something. I don't know. You hear about it all the time. I don't think they're doing it just for the money. But if you make it big in Hollywood, you might as well do it for the money, to be honest. Because it's so difficult to make it big in Hollywood. Uh, is there any actor that actually doesn't care about the money? Yes. Uh, Josh Hartnett's probably the best example I can give. Uh, I think Mia Was Wasikowska? I don't know. Her name looks like Wasikowska, but I heard it recently pronounced in a different way. So, Mia Wasikowska, she played Alice in the live action Alice in Wonderland movies. Um, I don't think she cares about the money because she's doing a lot of independent stuff as well. Um, I don't know. There, there are a lot out there. I'm, I, I think it's just the vocal minority cares so much about money. I think. Because I think more people care about the art and the craft of it than the money. So, yeah. But when you're when you're playing Superman, I think you care about the money. I do. If he didn't care about the money, he would probably sign on to so many independent movies. But he hasn't. Because he's Henry Cavill.
I think Jennifer Lawrence might be heading towards... Eh, no, that might be saying too much. Uh, I was going to say, I feel like she might be heading towards that same kind of thing where it's independent movies instead of really, really high production value ones. What the heck? I don't know what to do. Do you think they're actors that are sincerely interested in the character they play? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> Daniel Day-Lewis would be a great example of that, actually. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, kind of toes the line, but I think he really does care. I mean, he hurt himself during filming of Django Unchained, and he kept going. I mean that's that's when you know they're they wanna they wanna do it for the the character and the art. But the money's nice. From the Cinema Con interview, I feel that Henry Cavill actually likes and is interested in playing Superman. I'll have to read it myself. Um. I think Robert Downey Jr. doesn't really care about Iron Man. I don't know if he doesn't. Well, I don't know if he doesn't care about Iron about Iron Man. I think he just doesn't. Um. He doesn't care about. I don't know. He is a great example of someone that is doing it for the money I think <laughs> but I, I do think he cares about Iron Man but more because it pays for his million mansions you know um is there a Is there like a secret area down here or something? What am I doing? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's try and go... Let's try and go next to the thing? Maybe that's all we need to do. Okay, we'll try and go next to it. A little pulsating dot on the map. Um, you need to watch the interview. Henry Cavill wants to portray the version of Superman that's all about hope. You can tell that he reads comics. He even talked about his Mission Impossible director. Talked with his Mission Impossible director about doing a Man of Steel sequel. Oh, Christopher McQuarrie, right? Because I think I read about that. I think I read... Something about Christopher McQuarrie for Mission Impossible Fallout. No, not Mission... Man of Steel 2. Sorry. Man of Steel 2. Okay. Okay, so this is the way to go. Let's see? I don't know if Christopher McQuarrie would be able to do a Man of Steel sequel, though, without Tom Cruise being in the lead role. Oh, come on, doll. Gotta. There's, there's got to be something. There's got to be an opening somewhere. Oh my gosh! I don't like that. That's scary, dude. I don't like it. Okay, here we go. If we can't find it here, then I don't know what to do. Wait. Is that all it is? Just a No! No. No, 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 no. No. You go under. Like an Evanescence song. <laughs> 